635 on the clock for weeks now. The water's been gushing from a couple of fire hydrants in Danville in Twiggs County. Well, our morning reporter went down there, population about 150, to check out the hydrants and talk with the mayor. Uh, Faria, you told us earlier that some maintenance is causing these hydrants to gush water. So what exactly is going on? The interior of the water tower was sandblasted and aligned with epoxy a couple of weeks ago. And since then, the Danvilles had two fire hydrants gushing water. It's nothing to be alarmed about, the mayor tells us. He says this is how it's done in every city or county that only has one water tower. Out of 21 fire hydrants in the city of Danville, two are gushing water. No smoke's detected, but the water hasn't stopped running for over two weeks, people say. Meanwhile, Twiggs County is under a severe drought. That's a red flag for some locals who are discussing the gushing water on social media. But Mayor Tracy Jackson says there is nothing to be alarmed about. There is no problem with the hydrants and they're working like normal. Now, Jackson is also the water superintendent of Twiggs County. In a statement, he said the fire hydrants are running to keep pressure from blowing out lines whole while the water tank's maintenance is being done. Brad McConnell from American Tank, who's helping the city of Danville out with the maintenance project, told us right now there is some interior painting happening inside the water tank. Once that maintenance is done in about seven to 10 days, the fire hydrants should stop running. The water customers are using right now is still being treated and being pumped from the city's wells. The only difference, Jackson says, is that water isn't stored in the water tower. Like you just heard, Mayor Jackson is also the water superintendent of Twiggs County. Now, they told us the water tank in Danville should be back online later this month during the week of the 22nd. Jackson wants you to know that the county is actually preparing to paint the inside of the water tower on Missile Base Road, and that project started Wednesday and should continue for about five to seven weeks. Again, this is nothing to be alarmed about, and this is a normal maintenance procedure for any county or city that only has one water tank, according to Mayor Jackson. Now back to you.